In the next few minutes, we're going to show you the basics of how to install a Zero Zone Crystal Merchandiser Freezer to Cooler lineup. We want this to be a brief overview, so please refer to the specific installation and operation manuals for any additional details you may need. For a smooth and easy installation, start with a clean floor space where the lineup will be placed. Then either snap a chalk line or use a laser to mark the front edge of the lineup. Next, mark out the base plate locations on the floor with tape. Then use a rotary laser level to find the high spot in the lineup and place the required amount of shims accordingly at each base plate location, both front and rear. The shims are placed perpendicular to the base plate with the front edge of the shim lined up with the front edge of the base plate. This allows for proper installation of the kick plate later. Tape the shims to the floor. Position one of the cases that will be on the end of the lineup. Then, to repair the next case, apply butyl caulk as shown in the illustration. Refer to the caulking directions that are included inside every lineup case when it leaves the factory. We are not applying butyl caulk in this video simulation, but once you have applied the butyl, move the cases into position using either a Johnson bar or pallet jack. Prepare the cases to be joined by removing the shelves nearest the ends that are to be joined. This will allow access to the case end frame bolt holes. In this freezer to cooler installation, an insulated divider has already been installed on the unit at the factory. Insert the provided 3 8 inch hardware and tighten the bolts while pushing the cases together. This draws the cases together and secures the insulated divider. Do not use the case bolts alone to pull the cases together. The installer is using an impact gun for three of the four connections, but the rear upper bolt will need to be tightened by hand. If this were a cooler to cooler crystal merchandiser lineup, the installer would bring the seams of the two cases together, loosely install the case bolts, then insert the center extrusion before tightening the bolts. He would then install the five barrel nuts and screws that secure the center extrusion. At this point, the lineup should be plumb, level, and square. A visual indicator is that the door tops are level, meaning there is no saw toothing. Be sure to use a four foot level when checking case frame leveling. If the cases are not level, insert or remove shims under the front and rear base plates to ensure that the cases are set plumb, level, and square. Door saw toothing is caused by the case being out of square or racked, making one end higher than the opposite end. For proper door operation when the cases are later loaded with product, make sure the cases are tipped slightly backward during leveling. Refer to the installation and operation manual for more details. Ah, now the lineup is starting to take shape. Next, install the T on the drain pipe in the direction of your floor drain. Then install the supplied running trap, ensuring that the trap is level. Each case must have its own drain and be individually trapped. After the running trap, run the drain at a downward slope to the hub drain. Notice, as shown in this photo, an installer may have to field install a drain made up of two 45 degree and one 90 degree PVC elbow. This particular variation was made because the supplied running trap was too long for the final floor drain location and would have overshot the hub drain. For hybrid cases, the drain is trapped differently to a condensate removal system. Note that if you should have a hybrid case, the case will come supplied with four and a half inch bases to accommodate space for the condensate removal system. Access holes are provided underneath the bumper guard to allow lateral movement of the lower door hinge plate if needed. The upper hinge plate is also accessible from the top of the case. It is important to keep store soffits behind this upper hinge plate to allow for future door adjustment and door removal if damaged. Standard refrigeration connections exit from the top of the case as well as standard electric boxes. Other exit options are available. Insert the threaded Tinnerman clips to the base plates and secure the kick plates to them. Be sure to install the splice piece between the cases as shown. Next, install the end panel kick plate below each end panel. Install the cart bumpers by hinging the lower portion on first and then fastening the top into place by tapping with your hand or a rubber mallet. Install the top trim splice pieces at the top case joint. We're almost there. 
Refrigeration lines are connected and run across the tops of the lineup as shown in this typical example. Once the lineup is complete, it is best to cover the cases during the remainder of store construction to protect them and help keep them clean. And there you have it. Your Zero Zone Crystal merchandisers are now ready for stocking and years of reliable service. Zero Zone, the responsive company. Visit us at zero-zone.com.